1 Chronicles 24, 1-31 Devotional Focus Verse These were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. 1 Chronicles 24, 19 The visitor who comes into a church sanctuary and enjoys a Sunday morning service probably gives little or no thought to the labors of love that makes such a service possible. However, the many behind-the-scenes tasks done for the Lord in preparation for a gospel meeting require organization. Consider what a different experience that visitor would have if no one came to provide music or operate the sound system. What if no one were assigned to drive the Sunday school van, vacuum the carpets, turn on the lights, or make sure the furnace was working? What if no preacher showed up? Any group of believers who meet on a regular basis must have some form of organization in order to function successfully. In today's text, the author of 1 Chronicles gave us a glimpse into the operational structure put in place for duties in the temple at Jerusalem. King David understood that the religious leaders of Israel must be organized to fulfill their particular tasks, just as organization was necessary for civil leaders. So, at the direction of God, he established an orderly system for those who served in temple worship. Descendants of two sons of Aaron, Eliezer and Ithamar, were divided into 24 groups. Each priest was assigned to one of these groups, and the groups fulfilled responsibilities in the house of the Lord on a rotating basis. Inherent throughout Scripture is the concept that God's people should participate in local gatherings of believers. For such gatherings to occur, everyone involved must work together to ensure harmony, order, and successful functioning. What was true in David's day is still true today. It takes organization to provide a setting where the truths of God's Word can be presented on a regular basis. When organization is done at the Lord's leading, the combined efforts result in gospel services where the congregation can worship in unity and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Background Information Chapters 23 through 27 of 1 Chronicles describe the organization of the temple rituals and provide a listing of various worship participants and their duties. Chapter 24 concerns the division of the priests, verses 1 through 19, and the remaining Levitical assistants, verses 20 through 31. David took the descendants of Aaron, who was of the tribe of Levi, the man God had ordained as the first priest of Israel, and divided them into 24 courses, meaning divisions, to serve as priests in the temple on a rotating basis under the direction of Zadok and Ahimelech. Zadok and Abiathar were co-high priests under David, with one serving at Jerusalem, where the Ark of God was located, and one serving at Gibeon in the tabernacle. Ahimelech, mentioned in verses 3 and 6, was the son of Abiathar and was evidently assuming some of his aging father's duties at that time. Verse 2 states that two of Aaron's four sons had died before their father. God judged Nadab and Abihu because they dared to bring strange fire before the Lord, disobeying God's commandments for sacrifice. See Leviticus 10, 1 and 2. These two men had no children, so the priestly courses established by David were the descendants of Eliezer and Ithamar, the two remaining sons of Aaron. Because there were more chief men numbered among the descendants of Eliezer than the descendants of Ithamar, sixteen courses were established from Eliezer's line, while eight courses were established from Ithamar's line. The service rotation was decided by drawing lots with Shemaiah writing down the heads of the divisions as their names were drawn. See verse 6. Each group served at the temple for two weeks out of the year. The remainder of the year they served in their hometowns. The system was still in place in Jesus' day. The rest of the sons of Levi, who were descended from Kohath and Merari, 
are listed in verses 20 through 31. They were organized in the same manner as the priests. Conclusion Following the example of David, church leaders today look to God for guidance and make every effort to establish an orderly system of worship under His direction and anointing. 1 Chronicles Chapter 24 Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Edomar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and had no children, therefore Eleazar and Edomar executed the priest's office. And David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eleazar, and Ahimelech of the sons of Edomar, according to their offices in their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Edomar, and thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eleazar there were sixteen chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Edomar according to the house of their fathers. Thus were they divided by lot, one sort with another, for the governors of the sanctuary, and governors of the house of God, were of the sons of Eleazar, and of the sons of Edomar. And Shemaiah the son of Nathaniel the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king, and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eleazar, and one taken for Edomar. Now the first lot came forth to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Haram, the fourth to Serum, the fifth to Malchijah, the sixth to Majamin, the seventh to Hakoz, the eighth to Abiyah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Yaakam, the thirteenth to Hobah, the fourteenth to Jeshabeab, the fifteenth to Bilgah, the sixteenth to Immer, the seventeenth to Hezer, the eighteenth to Aphsis, the nineteenth to Pathiah, the twentieth to Jehazekel, the one and twentieth to Jachin, the two and twentieth to Gamal, the three and twentieth to Deleah, the four and twentieth to Maaziah. These were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi were these, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Judea. Concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ashiah. Of the Israelites, Shelemoth, of the sons of Shelemoth, Jahath. And the sons of Hebron, Juriah the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, Jechamim the fourth. Of the sons of Uziel, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shamir. The brother of Micah was Ashiah, of the sons of Ashiah, Zechariah. The sons of Merari were Mali and Mushi, the sons of Haziah, Beno. The sons of Merari by Haziah, Beno, and Shoham, and Zakor, and Ibri. Of Mali came Eleazar, who had no sons. Concerning Kish, the son of Kish was Jeremiel. The sons also of Mushi, Mali, and Eder, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren the sons of Aaron in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, even the principal fathers over against their younger brethren.